So yeah, this arrived. It's the 10th anniversary edition of the Native Instruments Machina Mark III. They only made 100 of these. So how did I get one? No, Native Instruments didn't give it to me. Well, they went on sale and sold out within two minutes apparently. And I sat there with my phone hitting refresh multiple times till I saw the buy button and I got one. These are numbered, so this is number 67 of 100. Well, what am I gonna do with it? For now, I'm gonna show you how I created the beat in this video. But before I do, if you've got a Machina Micro, I have a tutorial series on how to create beats with the Micro if you're just starting out. I have more Micro tutorials coming soon too. But keep watching this video because you can apply most of the techniques I've used in this beat to your Machina Micro as well. I wanna talk about how I arrange the pads. The first four pads are the drums. Kick, snare, hi-hat, and open hi-hat. That's about it for the drums. Everything else are samples. I just found this sample on sounds.com, which is the Native Instruments loops and sample website. And I found this, I think it's from this vintage cinema sound pack. It's really cool. Here's what it sounds like. So I just took that sample, actually it keeps going, I'll play the rest of it too, but I took that and I just sliced it up evenly according to the beats to all these pads. And that was pretty simple actually. Once you know the BPM of the sample that you have, and that was easy because the, the BPM was actually in the sample name, and then I just uh, set that BPM and then just did an even split and it came up with all these pads. Here's what the rest of the sample sounds like. So it keeps on going. So now I can trigger these whenever I want to, right? So I can do. So I put all these pads, all the sample pads in the same choke group. So if I play one pad and then another one, it'll turn off the previous pad. And also I set the polyphony to one so that it just plays one at a time. We'll keep playing the sample. And when I hit this again, it re-triggers the same thing. And that's pretty simple. So with the drums on the bottom and all the samples up here, I can actually play a drum beat. It's so much fun doing that. Here's another scene I created. In this one, I took some of the same samples that you saw here, but I'm also triggering a sampled vocal. On this last set of pads, I have a different sample. I also got this one from the Vintage Cinema sample pack from sounds.com. For the full beat, I recorded some other instruments in there as well. I'll give you a quick run through of those and performance effects I added too. But before I do, if you wanna watch my Berlin adventure visiting Native Instruments with 13 other creators, watch that video here. Those creators shared some valuable advice for music production, go watch it. I'm using The Gentleman, The Piano Sound by Native Instruments. I also added an 808 bass and I added a little bit extra percussion. 
claps and stuff like that. When the beat is playing, I actually made use of the macro function that's only available on the big machines. And you're able to assign effects to knobs here. So it's much easier to change certain parameters from different effects that you've added to the master track. I've added the beat delay. I think that's what this is. The mix of the beat delay, the cutoff of the high pass filter, and the mix of reverb. So, great thing about having lock is that I can lock the performance, play it, and then start mixing in these effects. And it goes back to the settings. High pass cutoff is a nice way to get a little bit of a vintage sound. You can also use the performance thing to add the filter. So there you go, that's the breakdown of how I created this beat using Machine. So I've never owned a Machina Mark III. I've only had the micro, the small one. So this is really special. Maybe one day this will be part of a giveaway. Maybe, maybe not. Um, until then, I'll learn how to use it and I will share what I learned with you so that you can do the same thing on your Machina Mark III. But more importantly, stay tuned for my next Machina Micro Mark III tutorial video. Keep making the music you love, my friends, and check out one of these videos next. I'll see you later.